I bought the M4 Mac Mini base model and the entire time before it arrived I was wondering exactly how well it would run DaVinci Resolve's Fusion Tab. So here it is, 4 effects, each more complicated than the last. To make the most out of this video, download the timelines from the description and then run them in parallel to this one to see how things run on your machine. Here we are with the first timeline. Spoiler alert, the M4 Mac Mini runs it fine. This is just a circle that's keyframed to move around with some blur applied. There is no visible delay in playback, however a few frames are lost according to the frame count sometimes at the start of the clip. Nothing too worrying, if you place the clip in the middle of the timeline there doesn't seem to be any obvious lag going on. On to the next timeline, here we've got a few more things layered up, some shape nodes, camera shake and motion blur. This is where 60fps becomes a little too much for the Mac Mini, with it hovering around the 50fps mark during playback. Looking at this, it's definitely the motion blur that will make or break the Mac here. With lower quality settings, it can run this at 60 FPS, but with higher quality motion blur settings, we could be going down to like 30. Speaking of 30 FPS, that's more like how this next timeline runs. Timeline 3. This is a combination of shape nodes and 3D nodes with lighting and animated camera movement. But you might want this on a 30 or 25 FPS timeline for smooth playback. One thing I haven't shown yet, as it hasn't really been needed, is the playback resolution setting. Up here, if you change this to half, which I'm doing now, then it can cope with the 60fps fine as you would expect. This setting does lower the quality of what's being displayed, however often if you don't have a huge monitor and you're not playing it back full screen then this is a good hack on any computer to make things run quicker. I would like to point out that all my timelines are at 1080p. On screen now are the average frame rates for the equivalent 60fps 4k timeline so far in case that's something you're interested in. Timeline 4. As you would expect with the most complicated one, this is a bit too much for the Mac Mini at 60fps here. We're getting around 3 FPS. For context, this effect is a rotating skybox, lighting, 3D shapes plus 3D text, animated camera movement, motion blur, and particles all in one. Clearly it can't cope very well with this, but also this is a bit more of an extreme example for most on what you might be doing in the Fusion tab. If you're interested in the 4K variant of this one, then here's the FPS. It's no FPS, it crushed. And at half playback resolution back at 1080p, it seems to be making up to about 20 FPS after a bit. Do bear in mind that you can change the resolution of your timelines even if you filmed in 4K, you could have a 1080p timeline or project and then go back up to 4K when you decide to export and you get to the end maybe the colour grading of your project. So what are the takeaways from this? Motion blur and other more complicated effects, especially the stuff from the studio version, are where the Mac Mini starts to fall to its knees, but overall this is a surprisingly powerful computer for only £500 if you can get that education pricing, or £600 if not. It's also worth mentioning that if you have lots of shape nodes at once but no 3D, the Mac Mini may still struggle. If you would want to see a video on how the more visual effects based elements of the Fusion Tab run on this computer or anything else, then leave a comment down below and let me know your comparisons with your computer to help others out in the comments too. 